This week at the NCPA, the spotlight shines on national defense issues. President and CEO Alan West addressed a crowd of 10,000 in Times Square at the Stop Iran Now rally. The United States of America is about victors. The United States of America is about champions. The United States of America does not surrender. Colonel West, accompanied by a Fox News production crew, worked his way through the crowd, interviewing rally participants, and then Fox News followed up with him. What is the biggest concern for you when you think about this nuclear agreement? Well, our safety. Iran cannot be trusted. I have children that live in that area, and I, I worry about it every day. We cannot trust Iran, and so why would we think for one minute that they're going to honor any type of agreement? The American people are not happy with this. The American people are very concerned about their future uh, security and safety. From the NCPA's Tax Analysis Center, we published a new study on the economic backlash created by America's corporate income tax rate, the highest of any developed nation. NCPA NCPA experts Pam Villarreal and Devin Herrick were quick to respond to the annual trustees report on the grim future of Social Security and Medicare. And from Washington, D.C., NCPA Legislative Director Brian Williams provides insight on the crucial export-import bank debate. This, I'm on Capitol Hill this week educating members of Congress about the Export-Import Bank, which is a government agency set up to help foreign customers buy goods from the United States. Its charter expired at the end of June, but there's a strong push to reauthorize the Export-Import Bank, possibly by adding it on to another piece of must-pass legislation like the Transportation Highway Bill. But there are at least three compelling reasons not to reauthorize the Export-Import Bank. Number one, the Export-Import Bank duplicates private venture capital activities. Commercial banks are much better suited to lend money in this instance, and they don't transfer their risks to taxpayers, unlike the Export-Import Bank. The second reason is the Export-Import Bank is corporate welfare. By offering credit that's less expensive than what is available elsewhere, the Export-Import Bank artificially inflates business profits at the expense of American taxpayers. And third, the Export-Import Bank is perverse foreign aid. Instead of creating incentives for foreign countries to clean up their own corruption and inefficiencies, the Export-Import Bank allows those countries to avoid financial reforms altogether by relying on the generosity of the American taxpayer. There are just a few days left for you to join the 10,000 and support the NCPA and Lieutenant Colonel Alan West. You can find out details at ncpa.org. Help the NCPA continue our research and outreach efforts. And thank you from America's Think Tank.